This is a prison 20,000 meters underground. No prisoner can leave here alive, because all prisoners are subjected to this once they're in here. A 30 meter tall long iron pipe is forced into their mouths. Despite the pain, no one cares. Then, at the command of the machine, a remote control device is suddenly shot into the man's stomach. The remote control is triggered by any prisoner who tries to confront the guards. This causes him excruciating pain, after which his belly slowly begins to bulge until it explodes and he stops breathing. There's even a mobile laser cannon in the center of the prison. Whenever it sees something wrong, it locks onto the target and fires a blast. But what's even better is this 28 hour old a day mobile scanner. Because this little thing forbids prisoners from dreaming at night. John had just down Seedolf when he dreamt that Karen was scratching her hair. His dream was instantly transmitted back to the surveillance room. Poe saw it and took an instant liking to Karen's curvaceous figure. He immediately triggered a remote device to wake John from his dream. John was confused as to what was going on, and that was just the beginning of the fun. Then next day, while everyone was working in the correctional facility, Nino was bullied by inmate 187. John swung at inmate 187 and hit him. 187 was furious. Who the hell are you? Dude! He grabbed John by the neck and slammed him into the dirt. John was in so much pain, it was like he had broken every bone in his body. Then the prison put the three in laser cages to find out who the top rebel was. But Nino lost his center of gravity, standing up too long and accidentally triggered the lasers. He was about to tell the truth. You're dead. In order to save this poor Nino, John once again acted as a hero. It was me. John was called to prison director Poe's office, but he didn't realize that Poe had set up the whole thing. And then Poe turned up with his trump cards. He showed a video of Karen in the cell. John realized that his wife had managed to escape from prison. Because in this day and age, the government banned everyone from having a second child. Anyone who had a second child would be put in jail. And it was John's disobedience to this policy that led to Karen's imprisonment. Unfortunately for Karen, Poe took a liking to her. Then next day, when everyone was about to go downstairs for dinner, 187 suddenly called out to John. Karen kicked him down the stairs from behind, and then kicked John in the stomach. He pinned John in the corner and slapped him again and again. Poe is watching this show from the security camera. The inmate picks up his helmet and slams him down the steps. Then he grabbed John by the collar and lifted him up and slammed him back down onto the catwalk. John almost fell 20,000 meters. Then 187 kicked him again. He thought that was the end of the conflict, but suddenly John started to fight back. While they were fighting, Poe didn't stop them, but flipped the switch on the catwalk. John then punched 187, causing 187 to almost fall to the bottom of the prison. As his life hangs in the balance, Poe orders John to kill 187. John shook his head and refused his order, and instead reached out to save 187. While John's actions are recognized by his fellow inmates, they also piss off Poe. Poe called for a laser cannon. 187 lost his breath and John was put in the dark room for the worst punishment ever. It was then that Poe began to threaten John's wife, Karen, with his life. Karen agreed with him with tears in her eyes to save her husband. After the sex, she fell asleep and was awakened by strange noises. So she put on her pajamas and went out of the room. Karen was shocked to see what she saw. Poe's body was covered in tubes. It turns out that he's also a cyborg. That's why he doesn't need to eat or drink every day. And he only needs to recharge his amino acids once a month. At this time, John was finally sent back to his cell, but now he's staring blankly and drooling. Nino couldn't understand what had happened to him. Abraham said he had a nervous breakdown, but his body didn't know it yet, and John was never the same again. But that's when Karen came up with a way to save John. She poured Poe a drink. Poe would have been fine if he hadn't been drinking, but when he did, he passed out. Karen then rushed to the surveillance room to control the scanning equipment to enter John's dream. He's a child in a pit with his hands out waiting to be rescued. But then John suddenly woke up. Luckily Karen woke John up a second before Poe realized she was there. So John, who had been asleep for 8 months, finally regained his senses and his energy. Then Abraham told him that his wife Karen had been forcibly possessed by Poe. John went crazy again. Then John made a bold decision. He would lead all the prisoners out of this prison of death. The man puts the bomb on his belly and uses the magnetism to find the other bomb in his body. He moves the bomb slowly upward along his internal organs. Despite the excruciating pain, he gritted his teeth. Suddenly, he started to roll his eyes and foam at the mouth. Just as he was about to lose his breath, his stomach used the Heimlich maneuver to get the bomb out of his stomach. Then everyone else did the same thing to get the bomb out of their bodies. But John said that was just the beginning of the escape. On the other side of the room, Karen cautiously made her way to the prison schematics when Poe wasn't looking. Then she switched off the machine and picked out the diamonds. 
Just as she was about to succeed, she turned around and saw Po standing behind her. Karen yawns calmly. Po opens her hand and doesn't see anything. Karen then passed the diamonds on to Abraham. Abraham took the diamonds back to his cell. But that's when the question arose. How do they get the diamond to ray out of the prison structure? Maddox took off his 20,000 degree glasses, snapped off the lenses and put them on the laser. And the map of the prison was emitted. They set up the escape route. They set the bomb. The breakout begins. First, the inmates pretended to fight each other to get Poe's attention and guide him to activate the explosive device. Then the pipe was easily blown open. The men rushed to get into the pipe. Poe realized something was wrong and opened the steam valve. So the prisoners had to run back. But as soon as one of the prisoners appeared in the opening, he was hit by a bullet and fell. Then a robot went into the pipe. Instead of being scared, John drags the robot into the pipe and knocks it out with a shovel. They dismantled the robot's weapon and fired lasers at the other robots outside. The three of them then took the elevator to Poe's office and abducted him. That's when John saw that his wife, Karen, had been taken to the maternity ward in order to rescue Karen. Maddox began planting a Trojan horse into the prison system. When he was about to succeed, he was suddenly hit by a bullet. Luckily, he hit the enter key before he left. Soon all the prison systems went down. The robots outside the gate started shaking their heads. Prisoners were running around. John also managed to get Karen out of the operating room. Finally, they got into an armored car. They didn't care what the buttons did. They just kept pushing them. Finally, they got the car to fire up. And that's how they escaped from prison. This is a 1993 American science fiction movie called Fortress. May excellent movies be watched by more people. You can subscribe to Chili Film and leave comments.